Shabbat Shalom, everybody. This week we are studying and talking about Parshat Miketz, which is the second of three weeks in a row where we study Joseph and his time in, in Egypt. Uh, we know the story. I, I think it's safe to assume that most of us know something about it. Uh, Pharaoh has these two terrible dreams that really freak him out. Uh, the first one is about seven healthy and delicious, well, not delicious yet, but seven healthy cows that are almost immediately eaten by seven diseased and skinny cows. Uh, then he has another dream where seven healthy, gorgeous stalks of corn are eaten by seven skinny and diseased stalks of corn. Never really understood how that part happens. Um, and, and like I said, Pharaoh's pretty freaked out. But he finds out that there's this guy in, in prison that can apparently interpret dreams. So they, they bring Joseph to Pharaoh, um, and Pharaoh tells him the dreams. He describes what happened in the dreams. Joseph says, look, I can't interpret, but God will tell you how to interpret these dreams. And, and it's not that hard. It looks like for the next seven years, you're going to have as much food as you need. You want to eat something, you'll be able to get it. Uh, and so will everybody in Egypt. But seven years from now, and for seven years after, there's going to be a great famine. Our crops are going to die. Our livestock will not be able to survive. And we're really going to have problems. And Joseph does what, what I hope I would do if I was there, which is, which is to start looking at the whole field and to understand what he needs to do or what Pharaoh needs to do to make sure that they're around for a really long time. He tells them, store as much as you can over the next seven years. Make sure you eat, but put as much as you can off to the side because we're going to have to make sure that we can eat and survive seven years from now. And that's what they do. They put away so much food that people from all over hear that Egypt has extra and they start heading to Egypt to try to buy as much as they can so they can survive. This is how Joseph and his brothers are reunited. Uh, I'm looking forward to next week when that part of the story ends. What I love about this portion, and what I, I read as many commentaries as I could as I was thinking about this, um, but no one really talked about how Joseph was really a strategic leader. He thought about what was coming next, and he executed a plan to make sure that they were around for a really long time. Uh, it's what I do when I think about Bethel and our health today and how do we make sure that that's sustainable moving forward. It's what I do when I, uh, it's what I think about as I dream uh, about building connections here. Um, how to put ourselves in the right place to connect with you your friends, your family, and the people who have not made it to Bethel, but hopefully someday will. This portion um, is, is just a terrific story. Parshat Miketz is, is one of my favorites. Um, and there's a lot to learn. But for me, as the executive director of a synagogue, I, I like to think that, that when I read this story, I'm really getting a sense of of how to be a bigger thinker, how to be prepared, and how to not let potential bad news cripple us. Uh, I hope that we learn that in our personal lives also, that there is really time to think about what's next for us, how to make sure that, that we have prepared for tomorrow, because tomorrow is never going to be exactly like today. Wishing you all a happy Hanukkah, a Shabbat Shalom, and uh, look forward to seeing you at Bethel and around.